guys. Are you here? I am having a little cup of lemonade. The girls have been super into making lemonade this summer. So I'm enjoying the, the fruits of their labor. They also were super excited that I found these little umbrellas to make their lemonade feel extra special. Um, so I have been enjoying, I've had quite the week. This week's been kind of a another rough week in some ways. Um, not great news this week, but life goes on. I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm making lemonade out of lemons. And hopefully you are too out there. Nice to see all of you. I was gone last week. I don't know if you noticed. Some of you watch every week, so I'm sure some of you noticed. Um, but I try to take a week off with my family every few months. And uh, I think I'd mentioned a few weeks ago, my husband changed jobs. So he had some time off in between his uh, old job and his new employment, which started on Monday. And um, so we took the week off and did a staycation here in Northern California. And uh, we went to Lake Tahoe and we went uh, to some beaches and parks in Monterey. And it was really, really lovely to have some time with my family. So hopefully you guys are getting out there and enjoying your summer as well. And Maria says she noticed. Oh, thank you for noticing. Um, but I missed all of you and I uh, haven't beaded. I didn't beat on my vacation. I think the girls beaded one day. They made a summer, we did 4th of July jewelry, I think is what it is. Um, Jack made his first bracelet, so that was exciting. But other than that, we were just so busy doing outside stuff that we didn't get a chance to do much beading. So I'm really looking forward to doing some beading today for the first time in probably two weeks or a week and a half. I did make some earrings. I did these on um, our Instagram reel, if you want to check those out after this video. It's a quick 60-second uh, demonstration. I'll show you those over here so you can see them a little better. We have uh, some new supplies today, which is exciting. We have um, added some new Tierra Cast parts to uh, add to our butterfly garden um kit that we had shipped out if you need more supplies. We have a limited quantity of these items. So we're going to look at the items and then I am going to make something using our summer rain bead strand and some mixture of these new Tierra cast items um, that we have going on. I see Beverly says she is from Santa Rosa and she so misses it here. It's really beautiful here right now. I wish you were here too. Um, it's really, this week especially, last week was a little warm. This week is just absolutely fantastic. It's been the perfect temperature um, all week long. So what's new? We've got these beautiful butterflies. I showed you the one I did on the reel is the silver color with those vintage crystals uh, that we've given out to a lot of you when you've bought things from us. So you, you may even have some of those in your uh, stash. We also have them in two other metal tones. We don't plan to restock these items. Some of them we were able to get more than others. Some of them Tear cast was almost sold out. And so we got the last of what they have and it would take three to four weeks to get more. And by then I think we'll be on to fall. So what we have is what we have. And if you want some, uh, make sure you go in and nab those. They were totally sold out of the silver and the copper colored dragonflies. So we only got ended up with the gold, which are beautiful. These are gonna make a great pair of earrings. I just know it. We added the swirl rings. These I might keep. These I might restock. We'll see. What do you guys think of these? Is this something you would want on a regular basis to have available? I know these rings are just so handy, you know, because you can put them in the front of a necklace. You can use them for earrings. 
Um, we've used our hammer tone rings in a bunch of different designs. So this is a fun kind of sweet design. If you like these, give it, give us a heart or a thumbs up and, um, and comment and let me know if you want us to keep these in our everyday stock. Because I think those might make sense all the time. We added a little dragonfly button. You can use as a clasp. Super cute. These butterfly toggles. They come in all three metals. Some of these we have more than others. I don't know which metal tone it was, but I think one of them we only had like nine. So that one's going to go pretty quickly probably. Oh, good. I see a lot of the rings are very useful, cute for necklaces. I like the rings. Okay, that's good to know. Maybe we'll keep the rings then. Um, but some of this more summery stuff, I think, is just going to be temporary. So these are great. They've got some really beautiful butterfly detailing on them. If you want some of those, we got them. And then we had this Luna Moth in our renewal kit. And um, we've had so many of you ask about them. So we decided we would just grab a limited quantity of them and you can order those now. Uh, but again, once they're gone, it's not something we're gonna carry probably long terms. Well, I'm still here. Are you guys still here too? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, let me focus in on one spot. Did you guys know I just dropped off? My computer dropped me off, but uh, it looks like my broadcast is still going, right? So can you give me uh, an A-OK -okay over there, Thomas, that um, you're hearing me OK? Oh, good. Well, great. We'll keep going then. I just, isn't that weird? My my main computer just dropped off, but my phone didn't. So, oh boy, that's just the kind of week I'm going to have some more of that lemonade because this is, this is the kind of week I'm having. <laughs> keep making that lemonade out of lemons, right? I'm going to do it. I'm okay. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay. Um, oh, Kristen said that happened to her on Monday also. Isn't that weird? I've never had that happen before, but I'm glad um, glad it's okay. Oh, uh, Let's see. Gladys says, I've used them when I make necklaces and put crystals in the middle of it. Are you talking about the Luna Moths maybe, Gladys? Oh, glad. Okay. So I've got a couple designs using the Luna Moth that I wanted to show you. I did this as a reel on the, um, oh, what's it called? The Great Beat Extravaganza uh, Facebook page, no, Instagram page. I did a reel for this, how to make it. Look at how that has patinaed just since that great bead extravaganza. I really like how it's darkened like that. And it matches my tiara cast ellipse clasp. So all tiara cast is an extra 10% off this week, including these brand new items. So if you want to nab some of these uh, limited quantity items, you can do that in our shop, softlexcompany.com. Here it is from the renewal uh, kit. I made a really pretty necklace using the silver Luna Moth. I might have to use another one today. They're just so pretty. Really, really lovely. And then um, I also wanted to show you, this was my design from the Great Beat Extravaganza Summer Market. Um, if you haven't gotten some of these little tear cast spacer beads, those are 10% off this week as well. And uh, these are just so handy for adding in that little touch of metal 
they're they're kind of a nice size. They're not tiny, but they make a really great spacer bead um, or could even be a bead all on their own. I mean, they're really, they're not small. So take a look at those while those are on sale. And then of course we've got those cute little succulents. Those are probably um, not gonna stay in our stock long-term either. That's more of a um, summer item as well. And so if you like those succulents, make sure you get in and get some of those while you can. And then, of course, we've got our toggles and things as well, which are all 10% off. And one other item, kind of like those spacer beads, the metal daggers. These can be really fun to use. Um, I would get multiples if you order some, you know, order maybe six of them. So you have some options where you can put them together in one pretty necklace, or you could break them up into earrings like this pair here. I wear these earrings a lot, um, a lot more than I want to admit. They match my Kate Richburg acorn necklace that I made. And so I've been wearing this, this particular pair quite a bit with that. And then this bracelet matches it too. So I'm kind of in love with that set. Um, but yeah, lots of good new tier cast stuff. Let's make something and get our hands moving here, right? Okay, so I've got a pretty cool ring, I wouldn't mind. I wonder if we should do like a mixed metal, like do some different metals. Um, that might be kind of fun. Also have a gold. Um, and maybe I do copper colored clasp on it. I'm doing a lot of, I have a lot of silver in here. I don't know if I'm going to love that. I think you could mix them together. Um, did you miss the butterflies? I hope not. We have them in gold, copper, and silver, and but there is a limited quantity of them. Oh, okay, Maria says, yeah, mix it up. All right, I'll try. I'm not a huge um, mixing of metals kind of person, so this will be a challenge for me. But I'm sure with your help, I will figure it out, right? We can do this together. Okay, so I'm just going to take apart. This was the Summer Rain uh, bead strand, which is still available on our website if you want to check it out. We also have some of the Summer Rain uh, design kits left. Not many, but we do have a few. Got my beads rolling everywhere. Okay, so do I want to hang this down here? And... Would I prefer that? Ooh, I'm liking that even better. The copper, and then we get our silver in. Maybe I won't like it so much, which I have all this silver mixed in. Ooh, look at these cool beads that are in that bead strand. They're flat and wavy. Those are fun. Just going to kind of break this up to see... Oh, I'm going to like it. Maybe I do a silver moth. Maybe that's the way to go. And then we'll have this little tail hang off here. Um, I love this gray. It's pretty. Be a little bit of blue in there. These want to roll everywhere, unfortunately. Oh, these are different. These are the ones. I also have some of those vintage crystals, so I think I might, I might work some of those in there too. I want it on the front end here. This could be really pretty down here. Have one of those there, and then one here. 
we'll string it up and kind of see how it's looking. Um, you never know. And that's kind of the fun of just playing with the beads is sort of deciding, you know, in the moment what is going to work best. Um, I was going to do the Peridot wire today. We have a Peridot curated color. Um, maybe I'll jump on on Friday and do something with the Peridot. I don't know why I decided to pull out all of these blues. Um, probably because it's my comfort color and I was needing a little comfort. Um, so I've got blue out. So I'm going to go with blue <laughs> for sure. But you could totally... Um, mix and match some different colors in and get that Peridot curated color. So this has a category, curated color category. Um, and I picked the beads in it this time. Usually Kristen does it, but she was so busy this morning. I helped out and it's three pages of, uh, with this wire and then beads that are an extra 20% off. So they're already discounted, many of the items in the category, and then you get an extra 20% off this week in addition. So make sure you check out that curated color category um, while you're shopping for all of your garden parts as well. I'm thinking white might be nice. I'm trying to see what I have back here. I've got white, I've got dark blue, I have the turquoise and I have the fluorite. I'm thinking white or dark blue probably makes the most sense with this combination. Um, the dark blue could be really fun, I think. I think if you want to go bright, you'd probably go white. What do you guys think? Do you think, in kind of looking at what I've got going on here, do you think dark blue or do you think white would be better uh, for coloring. I'm leaning towards dark blue, but I wanna know what you guys think. So first few people that tell me your thoughts, I will take. Oh, okay, dark blue, white, dark blue, dark blue. I see three dark blues already. Oh, and a white. I'm gonna go with dark blue because there's three of them. Oh, there's four now. All right, let's do it. It could look really pretty in white as well. Um, that's really going to brighten it, whereas the dark blue is going to obviously darken. Your wire color can make a big difference in your design, believe it or not. Okay, now I'm just going to trim a piece, and we will work on this bottom part first, and then we'll move up to the top. So I'm thinking I might do copper crimps. But there is some big silver. Maybe I'll do silver crimps to match the big, the big monarch um, or Luna moth in the center. So I'm going to grab out a few of our silver crimps. These are two by two millimeter crimp tubes. They're soft flex crimp tubes, so they're very thick and very strong. I'm going to Set those down and then I'm just going to take my piece of soft flex, which is a flexible beading wire and string it through this hole in the bottom of the moth. What's really nice about these moths is they have this attachment at the top. They also have attachments on the wings. So in this design here, I attached to the wings. But this time I'm probably going to attach this um, to this ring. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to attach it from the top. I don't know why I can't get my words out today. Okay, so I've got my wire. I'm going to center it on my moth. Take my two ends and string one of those two by two millimeter crimp tubes. And I'm just gonna let this really be kind of loose and dangle nicely. You don't need to tighten up that connection too tight or it won't feel nearly as nice. I'm gonna grab out my magical crimpers. And you wanna center your crimp tube inside of your magicals. You find that magical spot where they just sort of sit inside of there 
and then compress. Your first time you should have a little four corner square, then you're gonna turn it on its side and compress again, and then just go around and around it. Who got free crimps uh, last week while I was gone? I saw a lot of people ordered magical crimpers and got some free crimps. Thank you for your orders, by the way. We always, always, always appreciate how much you guys support us. So anytime you're using a bead like this, um, no, you have two, when you have two strands going through it, be mindful. I wonder if I should use this up here and just dangle my, um, otherwise it might get kind of long. And then I can just dangle my dragonfly and my cute little butterfly from the bottom here. I'm thinking I'll do the butterfly higher up because it's a little bit shorter. So I'm going to leave a little bit of that wire exposed. If you don't like that, you can always do some seed beads or something. I often expose the wire. I like the color to show. Um, so I'm going to leave it hanging out. But you could put some beads there if you wanted to. And I'm just crimping that butterfly onto the wire, one of the wires. Take my cutters and trim. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the dragonfly, just like a little bit lower. Maybe like right here. The dragonfly is the only item I think that isn't double sided. The butterflies are double sided, just so you know. So you've got to face that the direction you want to uh, wear it. The moths are also double sided, um, but the dragonfly, for whatever reason, doesn't have a double side. Okay, so we'll get this crimped on here too. You kind of want your little loops on your two insects to be similar. Check your length. Do you feel good about it before you crimp it? You could maybe shorten it up a little bit if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it. I'm okay with it. If you wanted to add more dangles, you totally could. Just do another strand of soft flex. You could add, um, add more little things hanging off the bottom, maybe some beads or sparkly charms. Could be really fun. And now we're gonna come up to the top here and we're gonna connect our ring um, to our moth. So I'm gonna take another piece of soft flex. The dragonfly has cute little feet. What are you talking about, dragon? Oh, it does. Oh, I guess that's kind of true. The little insect feet. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That is very cute. <laughs> so I guess you could face it feet side out if you wanted to. <laughs> Very cute, Thomas. Thank you for noticing. Okay, so now I've got my crimp and I'm going to attach to the top of my moth. Oops. So a few of the presenters for Customer Appreciation Week still have kits left. Most of them only have a few kits left. Um, so make sure you're going on that customer appreciation page and checking it out. I'm pretty sure Allegory Gallery has some of their bee themed kits left, which are adorable. Andrew made a custom designed wood piece uh, for the kit. And I feel like it can be a little hard sometimes to see in the picture. Um, but there's some really good parts and pieces in that kit. It's a good value. Um, 
who else was I looking at? I think the bead place has a few left. Kelly's bead boutique only has a couple left. Um, yeah, so make sure you're getting in there. Get your kits now so they have time to ship and get to you if you want to make a long. Uh, some of the vendors may have kits available still during customer appreciation week if you want to watch the demonstration and then order them but many of them won't. So it would be good to get it ordered now. When I'm attaching into, um, into this crystal, I can pull it out this way or I can string it through the crystal if I want to. It's up to you and how close you wanna get uh, to that bead. Make sure when you've got, especially kind of a heavy long piece like this, you wanna make sure that the attachment up here can really wiggle around so that it's going to feel nice. Um, and also try to get the wires straight inside if you can. It's kind of hard to do sometimes, but it will give you a straighter connection. And I'm just using those same pliers to attach. Okay. we've got our centerpiece and now we can start stringing around I think I'm going to make this a fairly long necklace kind of makes sense it's a long necklace so I won't need a clasp although you could use um, these really cool butterfly clasps if you wanted to make it shorter they would look great with this design I'm going to get a nice long piece Fire. I love these little garden party pieces. They're so pretty. I have just made a complete mess already. Can you believe that? It took me about 0.5 seconds to make a big mess. <laughs> Does anybody else feel like that? Robin is saying that she, I have the calendar for cost set up on my PC as wallpaper. Oh, that's awesome, Robin. I love hearing that. Yeah, we're going to have uh, three events um, a day for five days. It's all free. You can buy the kit if you want to from each company, but uh, it's free otherwise, and it's going to be right in the Softlex VIB Facebook group. So join the Facebook group, and we will be using um, our normal streaming software that Kristen and I use. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to set up all the day's three events right at the beginning of the day, and you'll be able to click to get reminders. And so I think it's going to make it easier than uh, when you've attended a GBE because um, you'll be able to get reminders for all of the events that day that you want to go to. And then we will, of course, um, post them into the announcements as well. So, yeah, I think um, I think it's going to be really, really special, really fun. I'm very excited about it, of course. My beads strung, and we'll see if this design works out or doesn't work out. Who knows? You know when you're having kind of a funky week, sometimes your designs reflect that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh boy, what is what is Sarah up to this week? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Um, how the different metals are mixing together. You can't see it, of course, because it's off screen, um, but I think it's looking really cool. I'm gonna crimp up here to hold those beads in place on that wire.
and add a little extra wire in there so that it can really attach. Again, I'm using that summer rain um, bead strand and I still have a bunch of beads left here that I can make something else with as well. So that's kind of the nice thing when you split up one of these bead strands, you can make um, mix and match it with other stuff. You know, it doesn't have to all go into the same design has lots of good stuff. Hopefully you're loving your summer rain design kits. Who's gotten their kit and what are your thoughts on it? <laughs> Susie says she is constantly uh, making a mess too. <laughs> Me too. Lois says, I think you make many amazing pieces when you're on. Oh, thank you, Lois. I really appreciate that. You know, in full transparency, I'm just going to put it out there. And maybe if you, any of you are prayer warriors or energy gurus, you can send it. Uh, my poor husband, who not only had to change jobs this week, found out that he, um, he had a mole checked and he does have a very early stage case of melanoma. So um, we have been pretty worried about him, but he's uh, getting into the doctor and getting things taken care of. Um, but as you can imagine, it's been a little, little tricky this week. So if you want to send him some prayers or healing energy or um, you know, whatever it is that you send out, we'll take it. We need it. Oh, good. Thank you, guys. It can be pretty scary. Yeah, for sure. But that's sort of life, right? I mean, we're getting to those middle-aged years where these things happen. And um, yeah, so life goes on. Um, and he's getting the help he needs, which is the most important thing. And he's on top of it. So that's good. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I am going to, so you can see why I've got my lemonade. <laughs> and I'm just trying to trek along and um, get through this week. Get on to the next one, right? It has just been quite the year for so many. I mean, not just us, but 2020 and then 2021 are just, it just sort of feels a little endless. The sadness and the loss and it just, some weeks it just gets to you. So thank you, everybody. You're very, I'm very lucky to have such a wonderful community of people. All right, so this is turning out pretty good. I'm kind of liking this. I don't mix metals very often, um, but I think this is, this is actually turning quite lovely. I think it's, you know, uh, to a great extent, <laughs> it's the loveliness of mix mixing that Jesse James beads custom bead strand and then the tiara cast. It's kind of hard to go wrong. And then you throw in some of these vintage crystals and it's like, what? This is terrific. So you can see I'm kind of snugging my plier down to my beads and compressing and that'll get it in there as close as possible. Um, but because I have the wire sticking out on each side, it also kind of gives me that extra buffer. So I'm going to have some movement there once I cut my wire free. Okay. All right. And there we go. So you can see it's crimped at the top to kind of hold those beads in place. I do like the dark blue on this, you guys. I think I would have liked the white too. The white would be super bright um, and fun and really pretty. It's so long, I have to turn it sideways so you can see the whole thing. 
<laughs> it's a really long one. But you can see the white would have just really kind of brightened it out. If you put it down here, it would be really bright and um, fun. But I like that dark blue, I think, adds a different dimension to it. Uh, that's really, really pretty. So that turned out great. Thanks for your help figuring out what to do. And then it looks like I've got some great beads still left on that bead strand that I can play around with after. Maybe make some cute earrings. These would be cute with these tassels. We still have some of those tassel assortments on the website. Um, they're both, I think, called lakeside tassels. And um, we've got them in the bright turquoise. And then we've got some in these darker blues that are so pretty. I think this one with the little rose petals, the dark blue rose petals. Wouldn't that be just lovely together? You just take another piece of your, I'll just make them. I'm already here doing it. Like, let's just... That's not quite long enough. So let me grab my dark blue wire. Again, my soft looks beading wire. And make a piece that's long enough, probably like six inches. It's probably the right length. String it through. You can also add a charm if you wanted to, like one of these little butterfly guys, maybe in a silver color, and or the gold dragonflies would be pretty. If you wanted to add a dragonfly instead of a tassel, you can do that. Bring your bead down. These tassels have those wide um, connectors. So make sure you leave some room down there for that to wiggle around. If you pull it too tight, this is what will happen. It'll pull to the side. So you gotta leave a little bit of room for it to hang nicely. And then you take both wires, grab a crimp tube. Okay, put my crimp tubes away. Oh, that's nice to hear, Penny. That's really nice to hear. Just don't worry until you know the facts. That's really nice to hear. Yeah, it's been tested and it's the doctor said it was a really early stage. So, um, so he's gonna move on to getting some more removal done. He's been scheduling those appointments. And um, we'll get that done. Of course, he's at a new job, so he doesn't have sick time and, you know, all the normal worries. But like I said, the most important thing is that he is okay. And um, I, I think he'll be just fine. You know, thankfully, we found it really, really early. And that's all you can ask for in these this kind of case. It's like best case scenario, if it has to happen, you wanna find it as early as possible. All right, look at that pretty little sparkler. How long did that take me? Like a minute? <laughs> These beads are on that summer rain bead strand. If you didn't get any, you might want to check that out. And then this is the tassel from the lakeside tassels in the darker blue version. Really nice. Um, so let me grab an ear wire and I will finish up. I'll finish those up on my own. Have an ear wire here. And you just slide your soft flex piece and then just close it up. And there we go. I'll finish up my second one and post some pictures. You know, beading is just the biggest, um, just the biggest, why did it do that? 
<laughs> it is just the biggest remedy to so many things. You know, if you're not feeling great or having a tough week, uh, sitting down and being creative is just quite lovely. So um, from me to you, that's my advice. If you're having a hard week, also, you can always grab some kid made lemonade and put a little umbrella in it makes life better. <laughs> the little things are what count, right? Let's see what Kathy said. Oh, I love that. And it would be a great drop for an, oh yeah, for the necklace. That's true. It would be a really cute drop. That's really, um, that's a really good point. Fern, thank you for telling me it's so pretty and it will be a lot of fun to wear. Thanks everybody for spending some time with me today. Even when I'm um, not 100%, I always can count on some of you to show up and be here. Um, and I really, really appreciate that. And of course, you can find all these great new Tierra cast uh, parts and pieces, including this sweet little butterfly and the how to for these earrings. Um, on uh, softlexcompany.com. The how-to for this is on our Instagram account as an Instagram reel. And I use craft wire uh, to connect the bead to the charm. If you're curious how to do that, you can um, check that out. Thank you for the positive feelings, the good energy, and the prayers. We will take it all. Um, like I said, it's been a few few tough weeks, but hopefully we're out of the woods now. We just get things taken care of and uh, move right along, right? So thank you for being here. Um, go to the website, softlexcompany.com. Check out the curated color category. I might jump on later this week and do a project with this color because I think this color can be a little tough for people. It's our peridot color. It's a discontinued color officially as of today. Um, you can get an extra 20% off on uh, all of the different lengths of peridot on our website uh, this week only. Then it'll go back to just its regular discount. Um, and we're on the last batch of it possibly. I think we may have some more in the warehouse that we can pull from possibly. Um, but it, it appears like we're on our last last leg with Peridot. So if you need a big spool of it, now is the time to buy it. Get your extra 20% off. And then check out all of the Tierra Cast pieces. Every Tierra Cast piece is 10% off this week. Both the brand new things that we have a limited quantity on and then our older items that we've been carrying for a while as well. If you want to uh, stock up on any tier cast, this would be the week to do it. Thank you, everybody. And I'm sending all of you um, some good energy and love and prayers, too, because I know every single one of you probably has something going on in your life, just like I do. Um, cause that's just how life works. Right. So thank you for all the beautiful, um, really lovely comments. Um, but I'm going to send it back to you as well. Um, and let, and I want you to know how much I care about each and every one of you. All right. So thank you for the wonderful meetup today. I will talk to all of you later.